All right, so now I'm closing the hood and then I can kind of walk you through everything here. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm gonna flip the camera um, towards the vehicle and walk around and talk a little bit. Um, Nicole is, is manning the children right now. I'd have her work the phone, but uh, they are wide open. Right now it's about 8.30 and uh, it's that last minute burst of energy before they go to bed. So let me turn you guys around. Okay, so in the front, cab fab front bumper with a Smitty built winch and Baja design lights, Smitty built um, thimble. This is the third generation uh, of their winch. It's the XRC and we have really liked it. It's the synthetic line, been great. My only thing I would change up, love this bumper, I would have done the tube work. That's my only thing I would have changed. Um, in the grill you'll see we did some uh, uh, upgraded um, horns. That was just because I kind of like the red behind the grill and it's actually a little bit louder than factory. High beam headlights and Quake uh, marker lights, fender chop lights. So really liked the quality of the high beam lights, but I do know some guys and girls that have struggled, I'm gonna turn these on for you real quick, that have kind of struggled with getting some good customer service out of them. And as of recently, we have struggled to be able to place orders with them. That's, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk any trash, I'm just letting you guys know that we have had issues uh, customer service wise on the high beam uh, for lights, but the quality for us has been great. We've had no issues. So these are the Quakes and they give you a nice, uh, this would be what your running light looks like, your marker light there. And we've actually had one light go out, but I will tell you customer service was great. They've already sent us a replacement and I've just got to install that and they're actually having to send the old one back and they're going to do some R and D on that. I'm going to turn the headlights on and also I'm going to turn on our hazards so you can see what the switchbacks look like. So when you have your blinkers on, that's what those quick lights look like. That's the headlights on. Now there's an app for the high beams and you can control those colors, the halo, all the lights, and they can all be three different colors or all the same, whatever you like. So um, very, ha very happy with the headlights and the quake lights as well. This is again a Wrangler Sport S, but I swapped out our sport fenders for Rubicon fenders and did a fender chop. So that gets rid of the inner piece. And then we did cab fab inner fenders inside. I'll move into that in just a second, but I do want to give a little shout out to these Baja squadrons. They have been great. They're the cornering lights. And they, so these headlights and high beams, I think the high beam, uh, when you flip the high beam on, it's 12,000 lumens. It's ridiculously bright. All I needed was some uh, wide lenses that acted as a good fog light, and that's been that for us. And those are the only lights I run on this, and I've been completely satisfied with that. So I don't I don't need anything else than that. Um, one thing we did was I wanted to build this as like a Black Bear edition, and I don't mean Black Bear as in my company, Black Bear Off Road. What I mean is like Black Bear Pass. And if Jeep were going to build a Black Bear Pass edition Jeep, what would it look like? To me, it would be low center of gravity, something with good brakes, good tires, not a ton of lift because you want to stay stable, but you also need to get over some obstacles. This would be it. So we did some Rubicon lettering to be kind of like the factory and put Black Bear on that. But I will tell you, we do just call this thing Blue Jeep around my house. Okay, so on the steering, on the steering, we did all steer smarts. Okay, so we did, and I'm sorry, this is pretty dirty, but... We did steer smarts. That is a steering box brace and cab fab diff cover along with the Yeti steer smart steering stabilizer, their track bar, and their drag link. And I also have their track bar in the rear. This is a JKS two and a half inch lift with J Flex control arms. They're fixed arms on the bottom and adjustable on top. JKS quick disconnect on this side and then on the shocks they are 2.0 Fox Reservoir shocks I actually just installed those last night and if you zoom in a little bit we get in here those are sumo spring bump stops those are awesome they ride like clouds I recommend them to everybody really really enjoy them let's get another sip of this drink but love the sumo springs okay let's carry that with us on this side, you'll notice we did the Flex Connect from JKS, 
and that works kind of like an anti-rock does and what that allows us to do is when we run like a gravel road or something this will let us not have to necessarily disconnect and we can just run down a gravel road really comfortably and then when I can do some rock crawling I disconnect put them up there on the uh, disconnect holders from JKS and been great and like I mentioned we did calf fab inner fenders in the front and we're going to continue those in the rear haven't done those yet two resis like I said there going down the side we just did a little stubby antenna I think that was from antenna X mall rated sticker from JCR off road pretty funny those are calf fab sliders been happy with those this is one of the first generations that came up with there as we move down the roof we have an ARB roof rack that does you do have to drill into the top and I did go with the aluminum series originally when we built this we had a rooftop tent on the top and I quickly discovered I prefer not to have that weight but I actually love having that roof rack for versatility of like throwing firewood or um, sometimes I put our tents for shows and stuff up there I actually really like having that up there and then it also allows us to have an awning which we run the Smitty built um, six foot awning on there and then I run my little um, antenna that's for our Midland and it's magnetic and it just hangs out right up top and gives us good service as we roll through there on the wheels we are running Mambas these are M I want to say 27s I think I got that right uh, I sell so many <laughs> different Mambas I get them mixed up but I think these are 27s you can find them at, um, on their website those are uh, Mamba, I believe it's just MambaOffRoadWheels.com or MambaWheels.com. We are a dealer and, I, and I've really been happy with these wheels. And then these are 35, 12 and a half, 17 trail grapplers and they're from Nitto. And we had the Toyo um, version of them uh, before this and been happy with them. Um, so just a two and a half inch lift. I didn't actually need control arms, track bars, all that stuff, but I like to kind of overbuild things. So... That's why we just did fixed lowers, and then the uppers are a uh, kind of a flex joint, and they're adjustable. So we're just pushing the front and rear axle out about a quarter inch. Nothing crazy, but it does ride good. Has some good caster. Pinion angles are awesome. Also did the foxes in the rear. Got sumo springs and bump stops in the rear. Did a Barnes truss in the rear. Eventually, we hope to pull that 30 out of the front that comes with the sport. There's a Sumo Springs, a Fox Rezzies, that uh, Steer Smarts track bar, and then the Barnes Truss. We'll keep that rear and eventually re-gear and then go with, um, uh, you know, a 44 in the front. I think I just want to do some 410 gears or something like that and put a, a Rubicon front axle in, and then we'll trust that. High beam rear tail lights, that's a Cav 5 tire carrier. Full size, it holds your backup camera and uh, their brake light Cav 5 rear bumper. Uh, and we've had those on there now for two years, almost 60,000 miles, and no issues at all. Very, very happy with those. There's more of that top. Now, this is the vehicle that my wife drives every day, and I take it off-road on the weekends and beat it up. So, it's rarely clean, so excuse that. But um, we use it quite a bit. So, as we go up here, we have a... High beam off-road light. It has um, a little emergency light. And then this is our LEDs right here. Just to show uh, what you're working on the back. Rockman uh, Fabrication. Excuse me, I'll arrange this a little bit. It's bothering me. But uh, Rockman Fabrication gearbox. Okay, so this bolts into your factory mounts I have a jackery hanging out over there and some other random stuff tripod um we keep a coat hanger what is that doing there we keep a fire extinguisher that's quick release i just got this on amazon pull that off i use right line gear bags to hold stuff like toilet paper and diapers and paper towels stuff like that a little bit of first aid gear in there and then this is where it's all at the rockman fabrication drawer and it's complete mess I will organize this thing probably tomorrow night because we're doing a ride on Sunday. But I keep all my tools and my compressor and my recovery gear and all that good stuff. And let's see if I can do and ducks. You see there's ducks in there. Let's see if I can uh, 
release it. I think I can. Let me switch hands here. There's a little release on the side. Yep, flip that up. Boom, we're back in. Love it because I can lock my gear, store it, and I don't lose any storage space. I can put my fridge, my cooler, whatever up here, tie it down. I keep a, um, we have a little ice co fridge that we use, and it's great for that. Right now, I am rocking the Rough Country tailgate table. It uh, kind of rattles a little bit. It showed up a little beat up, and um, but it's worked. I've cooked a lot out of it. I am actually switching to the Rockman fabrication table, and instead of flipping down, it flips up. So while you have the drawer system out, you're able to flip that up and use them in unison. So um, definitely excited about adding that, and um, very happy with the Rockman fabrication drawer system. And then happy with the high beam lights as well. Again, customer service issues a little bit on that. There's your neighbor, Captain John. For all your charter services in Lake Lanier, that's your guy. Beer 30. That is Beer 30. So there's our Midland in there. It hangs out underneath. Rugged Ridge, phone carrier in here. And then just did a, um, uh, a tablet holder. That's a RAM mount. And that's about the only thing on the interior. Uh, oh, we did some... Um, man, the brand is escaping me right now. It is Inviticus. They're awesome. They are Molly as well as um, insulation. I'm going to turn some lights on in here. They are Molly as well as um, insulated um, hard top covers. So they keep some heat out, keep the heat in depending on what you want, uh, what time of year it is. And they also are Molly in the back. We did patches back here so the kids can play with the patches and they have their own pouches as well so that's about it for the interior so yeah we're still on stock gears run 35s been happy with it with the eight speed i wouldn't do it in a jk but in jl it's worked great eventually i want to move up to 44 front 410s maybe 456s and that'll probably be it um, as far as what we need performance wise might move up lift wise, but been happy with the two and a half two and a half inch lift with the Rubicon fenders has been really nice low center gravity good for gas mileage gets down the road well been very happy with the two liter turbo We'll probably buy that again when we get closer to a hundred thousand miles We may consider trading it in or selling it just because I don't know how longevity wise this thing will do but uh, it's been great so far, zero hiccups, zero issues. We are running a Taser Mini, and it's been good for us um, on this vehicle. And like I said, I've been happy with most of the products that we've installed on it, and I would probably do most of them again. Been uh, happy appearance-wise. Cab Fab has been awesome. JK suspension has been great. Steer Smart's awesome. If I was going to build another one tomorrow, I'd use all those parts all over again. And... Uh, wouldn't wouldn't hesitate i just wanted to show you this we're going to beasley this weekend and uh should i flip it and destroy it and and not look as pretty i want to make sure i got a good video for you guys to watch so anyways i just want to give you a quick video use the new phone and uh cheers hope you guys have a great weekend hope there's an adventure in your future i'm jeep and bubba eat your prunes and we'll be seeing you